Scary moments lead to a plan of action for one Illinois school district. Yesterday, schools in Newton, Illinois, were placed on lockdown. This after a man made threats against the school, the students. News 10's Rondell Moore explains why school workers are thankful things turned out the way they did. It's all quiet on the campus of Newton Community High School right now. Things were much more tense just one day earlier. Words from this man causing the issue. Uh, you need to hurry and get the kids out of here. Uh, this is your only warning. There was something to the effect that this message is from above. It all started here at the bus maintenance garage. They say a man came by acting erratically. That's when three workers decided to call officials and take some action. They, they took quick action that allowed us to keep our students safe, and I commend them for, for doing that. Immediately, the superintendent placed the school in lockdown, alerting parents of the situation. Thankfully, it ended without any incident with the same man, 49-year-old Terry Roberts, arrested. Police found him miles away in Olney. His expected charge, disorderly conduct, but in this case, it's a felony, and that's because... person uh, transmits a threat of violence or bodily harm that's directed uh, towards somebody in a school setting. And that is a felony in Illinois. Superintendent Cox is giving everyone involved an A+, plus, keeping a troubling threat from exploding into a potential tragedy. We have an active shooter at the high school. What's more, it all happened just days after an Ohio school shooting left two people dead. But he says he couldn't afford to make that his focus. We have safety plans in place and we have security measures in place because when an event like this happens, you're not thinking about what happened in another community or anywhere else. The, the thought process went into how do we keep our students safe. Keeping students safe in the face of danger by working with others. In Newton, Illinois, with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Ron Moore, News 10. If convicted, Roberts could get up to three years in prison.